Hello, Captains, and welcome back. So we're going to be continuing with the Romulan mystery. Unfortunately, due to an error, I have to replay Empress Sela. So we'll go ahead and do that. You may have heard about the tragedy at Kittimer. Empress Sela attempted to disrupt the conference with a bomb, resulting in the death of Commander Tamer. Now, Sela is offering a political reconciliation with the Federation, despite the fact that we have allied with the Romulan Republic. She has invited Federation diplomats to meet with her delegation at a secure base on the edge of the neutral zone. However, we have recently received intelligence that Sela is amassing a fleet. We are sending you with the peace delegation as cover for your investigation into Sela's activities. This is a very delicate situation. You must try to covertly obtain information about Sela's plans without disrupting our peace efforts or upsetting Sela. However, we do have an agent in her retinue who will help you. Very well, Admiral. We have arrived in the Grama system, Captain. Incoming hail, sir. Do you want me to put it on the main view screen? On screen. Greetings and welcome to Agrama. I am pleased that Starfleet sent such a notable officer as its representative at this conference. Please enter a standard orbit and transport down to these coordinates. This meeting may mark the beginning of a new day for the Federation and the Romulan Star Empire. I hope we can find a path to peace. There has been too much conflict between our peoples. We've entered standard orbit, sir. Are you ready to beam down? Away team assemble in transporter room one. Most of the delegates are already in the conference room. My aide, Jevam, will take you there. I have some business to attend to before we begin. It's a pleasure to meet you, Empress. I look forward to a productive conversation. <laughs> or not. I am so pleased to see the Federation recognize and attempt to rectify its past mistakes. I knew that a people as clever as yours would realize eventually that it is folly to antagonize the Romulan Star Empire. I am also confident it will only be a matter of time before you realize that you have made a grievous error by allying yourselves with terrorists, scoundrels, and thieves. The sooner you renounce your poorly considered alliance with the so-called Romulan Republic, the sooner we will be able to come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. All I can say is I'm glad we have taken this first step. No, the, the thing I can say is stop being so condescending. Welcome to Agrama. Isn't this a lovely facility? You must tour the atrium later. Hard to believe this system was infested by Orion pirates not long ago. You know, some of my colleagues were against this meeting, but I lobbied for it. I said the entire Federation cannot be as blind as the people who were at the farce at Kittimer. If you just see the problems the Romulan Republic are causing, I'm sure you can persuade your government to reconsider their rash choice and sever their agreements with these rebels. It'll take more than a warm welcome to make us change our minds about the Republic, Counselor. It is agreeable to meet with you. You have my people's enduring gratitude for how you handled that matter with Ambassador Soke. This is another trying time for Vulcan. The Romulan Star Empire blames the Vulcan Science Academy for the Hobus supernova that destroyed their world. They are utterly intransigent in this misguided belief despite the fact that Ambassador Spock warned them of the danger and ultimately gave his life to stop the loss of even more worlds. Romulans are a most illogical people. 
Sometimes I find it hard to believe we were once a single species. We are so pleased that you were able to attend our conference. The Empire was quite dismayed at your decision to support the terrorist insurgents rather than the rightful government of the Romulan people. So much for your vaunted Prime Directive. In any case, neither of us benefit from extended conflict. So, despite your questionable alliances, we are choosing to open negotiations in hopes of normalizing relations between the Federation and the Romulan Star Empire. Let us consider today as a first step towards a lasting accord. <clears throat> I thought the Federation's alliance with the Romulan Republic would be the end of any meaningful dialogues with Empress Sela. After all, she considers the Republic to be a terrorist organization. She may have an ulterior motive for inviting us here, but we had to take the chance that Sela's offer to negotiate is sincere and act in kind. The Federation must pursue every avenue for peace. I agree, Ambassadors. Maybe she's seen how pointless this conflict is. The Romulans can be so difficult to deal with, especially these Imperials. They are forever setting traps, twisting words, and jockeying for advantage. Even a conference with the Klingons would be preferable. At least you know where you stand with Klingons. I am reminded of a line I read once in an ancient Earth text. Hide a knife behind a smile. Every smile here hides a knife. I'll be on my guard. Oh, who's this walking up to us? I apologize for the interruption. My name is Toka. I am one of the stewards here. We've had a slight complication with the dietary requirements of some of your delegation. Could I borrow you for a moment so we can clear this up? I guess so, but I'm not sure how much I'll help. How much help I'll be? Franklin Drake says you can be trusted, and that is enough for me. There's more going on here than a diplomatic conference. Sela has no interest in courting the Federation. So why is she suddenly doing so now? We're going to find out what she's up to. What do you propose? The lower level of this facility is off limits to everyone but the Empress and her aides. But that access hatch right over there opens up to a maintenance tunnel that leads down. The doorway is guarded, so while I distract the guards, you sneak through the door. Lead the way. Thank you, Tokoth. From Commander Tojin to Empress Sela. Per our agreement, my ships have acquired the Borg Sphere and towed it to the Pilatus system. I anticipate your prompt acceptance of our proposal for new hunting grounds and the interesting prey you have promised us. End transmission. Empress, the fleet is on its way to Vulcan. 
Excellent. Have the weapons loaded aboard my ship. I will depart as soon as they are on board. At last, we will have our revenge for the destruction of Romulus. Hail Hakiv and put him through to my personal terminal. Then leave me. I have matters to attend to. Yes, Empress. Begin playback of file 2895 Gamma. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged a campaign of peace. 21 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. Computer and file. I cannot suffer more of that arrogant fool. Soon Vulcan will suffer the same fate as my world. I have Hakiv, Empress. Patch him through. Greetings, Empress. My fleet has launched for Vulcan. I expect you to rendezvous with us there. Alas, I must disappoint you. The terrorist cells of the Romulan Republic demand my full attention. Chitterer did not go as planned. Now they have powerful allies. And with Taurus missing. Spare me your excuses, Hakiv. Nothing is more important than avenging the destruction of our homeworld. You disappoint me, Hakiv. I trust you will not do so again. All right, let's go find those weapons. I should have known the Federation would send spies instead of diplomats. And you call us treacherous. No matter. You may have destroyed these weapons, but my fleet is already en route to Vulcan. You cannot stop what has begun. Guards! Capture the intruders! I think not. are safely back on their ships, but I had to blow my cover to get them there. Now it's time for me to get out while I still can. Farewell. Thank you for your help, Tokoth. I hope we meet again. Let's return to the ship. <coughs> Lieutenant Commander, satellites are emitting a dampening field that has knocked out our engines. The diplomatic, the diplomatic vessels have been similarly affected. Initiate a feedback pulse.
memory of that blasted evil. I'm gonna recommend you get a competition. Okay, last satellite. I could not have believed anyone came from this country. Communication systems now available, sir. Hail Admiral Tenay. I had not expected to hear from you so soon. Was your mission successful? Sela has launched an attack fleet. Her target is Vulcan. I should have expected as much. You cannot trust them. I never do. I am contacting all available ships. We will meet you there. Good luck, Admiral. We've done all we can here. I'm transmitting an emergency signal to Starfleet Command. Course laid in for Vulcan, sir. Initiate maximum warp. Thanks to your warning, we were able to divert some ships to defend Vulcan. I have come to personally command the defense. The other forces have already been briefed. Your role in this battle will be to defend the science vessels that have set up a tachyon detection grid to detect any cloaked Romulan ships. We cannot allow any enemy ships to slip through. I understand, Admiral. The ships maintaining the grid will be priority targets for the Romulans, but they must remain in position or the grid will collapse. That is why I need you to protect them. Understood. How can you fight what you cannot see? Surrender now, and I may give you a merciful death. Our tachyon detection grid has revealed scout ships attempting to penetrate the perimeter. Sela, you are delusional. Okay. 
Ah, she wants to play it for a little bit more. You may have won this day, but the fight will continue. Romulus will be avenged. There will be blood for blood, death for death. My world is gone. I will not rest until Vulcan suffers the same fate. Vulcan is not to blame, Sila. The Federation wants peace with your people. Indeed. Then why does Starfleet use ships equipped with weapons of mass destruction? Why did the Vulcan Science Council willfully refuse to assist us when there was a chance to save our world? Every sorrow in my life can be laid at the feet of the Federation. Blame your own Senate. They didn't want the help. You are blinded by anger and grief. I hope you see the truth before it's too late. I'm detecting some unusual energy signatures from some of the debris from the Romulan vessel, sir. Moves in closer and scan the debris. Sir, the debris has traces of Borg energy signatures. I think the Romulans may have modified their ships with Borg technology. Hmm, something to look into. We completed our objectives here, sir. Are you ready to depart the system? Yes, we are. People of Vulcan and Starfleet Command both ask me to congratulate you on averting what could have been a terrible disaster. I am deeply concerned by your discovery of Romulan attempts to modify Borg technology. Sela is desperate to hold the remnants of Romulan Empire together, and despite pe and desperate people make and desperate people take the greatest risks. Under circumstances, it is logical to assume that we have not seen the last of Sela. Perhaps. She will come to realize that Vulcan and Starfleet were not to blame for the destruction of Ramos before she returns. I have news. Congratulations, Commander. We've reached rank 20, so we're going to go get a new ship, even though we are not going to equip it. to equip some skills and some traits. I'll go and get a new badge of rank. Hello, you can alter your. 